Hey everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna go over the brand new uh, Perplexity Pages feature that, uh, as far as I understand, just dropped today. Um, I just happened to see, uh, I think, a Discord message about it, and so I came to check it out. Uh, I was playing around with it for the last couple hours, and um, what it is going to allow uh, bloggers to do uh, and people that are interested in using AI for writing is they're going to be able to create a... Um, a pretty high quality cited draft uh, within a matter of minutes. Um, you could have done this with perplexity in a different way, but it was a lot more manual uh, previously. And so uh, this is just a faster way to um, get your first draft. So the term that we're going to go after is how to get rid of uh, white scratches on cars. Um, I don't know a whole lot uh, about cars um, or how to get white scratches out. So this is not... Um, something that I have subject matter expertise in. And uh, I've also created a Surfer editor so that we can quickly score the article uh, just for the purposes of this demonstration. And um, yeah, so again, drop today. We're just going to go right into it. So to get into pages, um, you do unfortunately have to have a pro account. So if you don't have a pro subscription, uh, you'll have to you know try it out for a month. Um, even though you get a couple pro searches for free on the free account, um, to, it looks like to uh, get this plus button here, you do need to have Pro. Um, so assuming you are signed up, um, this is what it's going to allow you to do. You're just going to hover over library, uh, click plus, go page, and there will be a completely new um, UI that uh, you've never seen before until today. Um, and so this is kind of where you're going to put your key uh, phrase. Um, so I'm just going to grab it here. Okay, and what it's gonna do is, um, as you would imagine, it's going to create a page for you, which is why it's called Pages. And um, it effectively writes a very short blog for you. Um, and the way that this uh, feature was meant to be used was to sort of curate uh, the specific questions that you had in the specific order um, so that you could uh, you know, quickly achieve whatever it is that you're trying to learn about. Um, sometimes here it will give you a great image. Sometimes it'll give you a video. Um, but in this case, it just gave me a stock image. Um, don't know if I really like that. But um, yeah, let's see if we do, let's see, white scratches. Or maybe like buff out scratches. Maybe something like that. I don't actually know where it's pulling from. Uh, it looks like, oh, okay, it looks like it's got some, I assume this is YouTube. Uh, let's see, you can click watch. Oh, maybe it's in the preview. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, YouTube. Um, so I'm going to go back to editing. And so we've got a video there, that's fine. Um, it's got a little intro. And then, so at this point, we need to decide basically what headers that we need. Um, you can insert a section in between uh, any paragraphs or you can add media. Um, so if I quickly come back to server here, I need to figure out, uh, so we've got light scratches, deep scratches, repair, scratch remover. Okay, so um, one of the things I'm probably gonna need to talk about at some point, let's see, a touch of paint. Okay, so this didn't, uh, generate a great first three. It was okay. Uh, so I, I did take a look at a couple of the um, pages here. So here they talk about toothpaste, nail polish, baking powder, vinegar as like possible hacks. Um, in this one, they talked about, uh, okay, let's see. Can I fix it myself? So DIY, okay. Uh, can I fix it with toothpaste? So toothpaste seems to be like kind of common. Uh, what do I do for deeper scratches? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab this header and I'm going to put, this is probably as worth having a section. So I'm going to do, um, uh, first one I'm going to do is DIY ways to remove scratches on cars. Okay. Um, and I think I want this to be a list. And uh, so there's a couple options here. You can do uh, concise, which is what it gives you by default. Uh, if you do detailed, it'll just be a longer version of that. Uh, like it says, more thorough. Um, then you can you have a couple of options here. So you can do text, media plus text, or just media only. And then here you've got paragraph, table, and list, which are 
basically all the components that a typical blog post are going to have. Um, so DIY ways is probably going to be a section that I want. I kind of want it in a list so it can just, you know, this can be like an H2 that goes into some H3s. Um, so again, it has listed toothpaste, rubbing, compound, sandpaper. Okay, so it's giving me a very similar list. Um, I'm not sure if that, yeah, it is citing all the sources. So that's great uh, where it's actually getting this from. So these seem to be kind of the main parts. Um, so I'm going to do a section about, okay, so I think we have applying toothpaste. Uh, I actually don't like this section. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to set a section called, uh, how to fix scratches with toothpaste. Uh, and I want this to be a paragraph and I think I want some media this time. And let's see. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, so that's not the right. Okay, so it's giving me techniques. Okay, so that's great. Um, I don't like this image, so this one's way better. It's actually got toothpaste in it, so that's great. Did I reuse that already? Um, no, I didn't. Okay, um, so what's next? Uh, rubbing compound. Using rubbing compound. Okay, so we've already got that in there. The next one, sandpaper and touch up, I think was the last one here. And touch up paint. Okay, so those are the methods. Um, so what's next? What's something that we might want to do? Um, so we, our term is specifically, so what you'll notice is that it replaced my original term, how to get rid of white scratches, which is actually what I want. Um, so I'm going to grab that. This one is just how to remove scratches easily in general, but I want to know specifically how to remove white scratches. So this is going to be further up. Uh, because this is my main uh, term. So just ignore the fact that it rewrote your title. Um, so I'm going to do this and see what it says about removing white scratches specifically to see if it's uh, any different. Okay, so it does talk about... Okay, and it found me a video. Great. Um, Okay, and it's giving me some instructions. So uh, I, I just need to remember to rewrite this header to be specific to white scratches. So I'll just take a mental note of that. Uh, what else do I want to learn about? Um, okay, repair kits. So maybe I've got... Uh, I'm just looking at other articles here. So let's do... Um, uh, choosing the best scratch repair kits. And let's say I want a table. Uh, maybe it's what are the best scratch repair kits. And, um, okay, let's do that. All right, so we've got some brands that I have seen before, and as always with Perplexity, it has really good uh, sighting. So, you know, this one's from Car and Driver, which is a huge brand in the car uh, industry, obviously, um, if you've ever seen their magazines on the stands. So it's got a nice table for me here, and that's perfect. Um, something else, let's see what other people are talking about. Um, turtle Wax Scratch Repair, okay. Can I use turtle wax to fix scratches? And I'm gonna—I don't know if this matters, but turtle wax is a brand. Uh, I'm gonna make sure this is back on basically answering the question. So we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. So this is probably gonna be at least a thousand to fifteen hundred words, give or take. Um, and then I'm just going to put one more, maybe like uh, car scratch repair cost breakdown and uh, probably one table for that. Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I, I don't think they have a way to copy this entire thing yet. Um, so I'm, I'm not really using this the way it's supposed to be used. You're supposed to publish it, and then uh, basically you'll get a share link in which um, other um, 
you know, people on the internet can can get access to. Uh, what I don't know is whether or not this page is actually going to be indexed because um, if it is, there's some SEO implications there. Because if we start writing really long tail keywords, um, we may just see a bunch of perplexity articles. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't really like the sound of that. So hopefully the team has taken into account um, that aspect. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control A, uh, copy and then I'm just going to paste this whole thing just to check the score and of course it's going to bring all the ugly images and everything in there but right off the bat first try which was uh, obviously I couldn't plan that because the AI can write whatever it wants um, I've got a 70 score before I go and optimize everything now what has happened is um, you know it looks like it probably could use a couple more headings could maybe use a couple more words but really the word count is not really that important as long as we cover the topic comprehensively. Um, but, you know, again, if you've been doing SEO for a little while now, um, I think you can see the implications of this. And I basically have to go through and fix, you know, fix all the tables so that they work properly. Um, you're going to want to retype a bunch of these paragraphs. But basically, the entire first draft was generated. We're going, we're at 11 minutes right now. Um, so, you know, in probably under 10 minutes, if you, got used to doing this process, you're going to have basically all of your topics uh, covered. And then you just come in here and massage uh, the paragraphs however you want. You know, for example, you would um, turn, whoops, turn on the, why is it this one? Yeah. Highlight terms um, so that you don't accidentally delete any of these keywords um, that are important. Um, and yeah, you know, you basically, away you go on optimizing. Um, of course, you have to fix all these images you can't just use these images and um, what it's also going to save you time doing is uh, the uh, external linking so let's say this top one is you know notably my most important paragraph because I'm going to rename it to you know how to uh, buff out white scratches or whatever the keyword was but I've got a bunch of sources here so wiki high high authority detail experts maybe high, high 30 probably not doesn't look like it I've never heard of that so I'd probably skip it so it looks like WikiHow. Uh, I might decide to embed this YouTube link right into my article um, because somebody's already made a really great video on it um, so I think all these sources seem to be uh, here we go I can click yeah so they're all basically the same four sources but you know on and on the next section obviously is going to have different sources um, so we've got a couple more oh we've got a wired in there now so that's a high authority source if I want to um, if I want to link out uh, externally and so you just go through each paragraph at a time um, and hopefully save yourself a bunch of time um, you know creating your your first draft and yeah so it's just Otherwise, just some of the other features, you can come in here and edit. If you don't like that generation, you can just redo it again. Um, and then under the more section is basically, they don't have a drag and drop feature at the moment. I, th I think hopefully they'll they'll add that, but you just kind of have to manually move it up and down or delete it all together. Um, but again, I'm not really using this the way the pages function was meant to be used. Um, this was meant to share information like, let's say you were going on a uh, vacation in you want a detailed plan of every city that you're going to um, you would kind of do all your research here uh, with the help of perplexity and then you would publish and then um, you would get your share link uh, and and then just you know share it to your friends for for that particular thread uh, that's how it's supposed to be used but I when I saw this feature right away I knew uh, because it was hyper optimized for short form uh, and it could do tables and it could do lists and those are all the basically the features that we need to create uh, a good blog um, so of course I'm not advocating that you just paste it in there publish it and then this is your blog that's not gonna work it's not gonna rank properly you do need to go in there and rewrite uh, you'll probably want to rewrite a substantial portion of it but you can keep all the ideas um, that in the topics and the flow that it has put together for you so if you're uh, not a natural writer like myself um, this actually saves me a ton of time on how to do transitioning uh, what parts to keep in and of course the just massive amount of um, 
research that the tool does for you. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if it was, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I, I really enjoy making these types of videos um, and, and just going like over the shoulder so you guys can see uh, not only like telling you how to do things, but actually just showing you exactly how I would go through um, and, and, and create these uh, pieces. You know, in, in subsequent videos, I'm actually going to go through a full uh, breakdown of an entire article that I will eventually publish. Um, but, you know, that'll be a really long form uh, video. So thanks for watching.